Taverns, come in. Hello everyone! Welcome to today's episode of APA Games. I welcome you to Unholy Heights, and a quite a wonderful little independent game. Now take a good look at all these various little monsters and creatures. These all get involved during your play. So basically you're the devil and you live in this tent. And the point is you're going to get tenants, who are basically monsters, who will defend your structure. Otherwise, guilds come to raid you. They take some of your monies and then they run away. So, if you have people move in, then they pay rent, they defend you from thieving humans, and you are allowed to expand. So if we click on the Devil's Room, you can see we build an extension, bestiary, game stats, etc. And you can also do it by clicking there. And there's speed boost functions, so kind of Sims-ish. Now, I have spent quite a few many hours on this already. I have not completed it. I've only made it up three levels. So I sort of know to an extent what kind of monsters I like having. So for my sort of tanky characters, I have skeletons. Now, as you notice, I changed this room because I like to have my tanky characters over here and then my ranged characters over here. I have never used a fish person, but judging by their stats, they are not very good. I, I find that the best combination to have, at least in the early game, is eye people who have very high magic armor and high magic damage, so they're very useful against mages and stuff. And, oh, uh, PC, PC. I think I can just get your graphing calculator. Room is meh. Yeah, well, I didn't get you a PC, so <laughs> it's a pro gamer. Oh, all right, fine. There, feel my pity. <laughs> I should have read what the em what the employment was. As you can see, we have a little lady eye person here, and I she's got quite high magic defense, so I'm very happy about that. Our skeleton could have better stats, if I'm honest. Uh, as you may notice with the rent, I like to go one notch just below. Room is meh. And I love I love the touch of having like plunk for skeletons and wink for female eyes. Sorry, I just wanted to check that. The speed boost function is very handy. Um, I'll just take you anyway. Wait, she's slightly better. Goodbye. <laughs> I love the names that they have them for them. Rib rice, Bonina. Marugo Curse. Ela. Oh, oh, oh. That's ours already. Mm, now, see, she's got high uh, melee damage, but to be fair, it's not worth it because they just take so much damage in the crossfire. Ooh. Okay, wait now, hold on. First, I need to do a room change because I don't like you being there, and then you can have your price dropped. A palm reader. Well, she's 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 even got a little bit of physical defense to go with it. It's quite nice. All right, now we just speed boost a little bit. Okay, now that I have my team, I'm gonna save, and I'm going to take a quest. You get different kinds of quests, so you get the normal ones, which you can just do for gold and stuff, and they kind of have some of them have a little bit of their own storyline going on. And you'll you might see a little bit later. <laughs> And um, the red ones continue the actual story. Uh, you get green ones, which uh, uh, grant access to other kinds of monsters, like zombies, which I must say make pretty good tanks. So I like to replace my skeletons with zombies. Okay, let's just do this. As you can see, they all have like a, 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 a max range, you could say. So sometimes it's better to sort of kite them closer to them so that the others can like throw a few attacks their way. Another tip, there are flower things that you get at some point, right? And they shoot seeds, but they don't just hit one target. They go like all the way across the map. So if a flower shot a seed from here and there was like an enemy there and an enemy there, the seed would go all the way through and hit both of them. And I find that to be extremely useful. And they have a much longer range than these guys do. 
and also the rain people. Now if you look on the quest board you can see how many rounds you have left and you can be reminded of what quest you're on. I love the art behind that moon. That moon? Sun. Yes, I understand I just failed. <laughs> you're a bit of an eager beaver. You can just go back to bed, bro. And as you may have noticed, you can upgrade characters' rooms with various items. See, she came, she came home and attacked the person that was attacking us. You've got to be very careful of that happening, because sometimes your weak characters come back when there's like four enemies in a line, and then two of them will turn around and attack your character and kill them. But if you click on them, they'll run away, so they won't take damage. Now, you may have noticed that I can buy things, so a portable radio. As the game progresses, they'll have more and more desires and things that they want. Uh, bone Elliton. What? Uh, give me clean wallpaper. Uh, that's simple, that's clean. To be honest, it's very worth it to give them whatever upgrades they want, because then you can charge more rent, and it really just stacks up to be very profitable in the end. Now, you've got to fulfill certain criteria before you can build extensions. See? Defeat gang leader before starting construction. You also need that much. Now, I'm going to give you a tip, okay? Something will attack when you build your first extension. Do not send any of your monsters out to fight him. Just trust me, okay? Just trust me. Uh... Oh dear. Uh, where did my Bonina go? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, there we go. Now watch. You'll see that because they've got very high magic armor, they take a lot less damage from a magic. Of course, the fact she went so close really helped. And you see, we got gold. We got monies. Hmm. I, I don't really understand the point of this, but... Okay, save. Save. Alright. Now, let's do that one, I think, because that way we'll get a nice amount of monies. Let's check if anyone wants anything so I can get more gold. More loot. Hmm. Doesn't want anything. Give me happy tree. So that's under decorations. Happy tree. Uh, so with the different quests, the yellow ones, they give you more furniture you can buy. They're generally very easy. Um... The, uh, the, 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 the peoples you generally have to battle with for the sake of the furniture generally just have a very high amount of health, very low, very, and very low damage. I think they also have slightly high armor, but that's about it. I think they only do like one damage. So you sit, just gotta sit there be beating on them for a little while. So it's nothing bad. Two, three, alright. One, two, three, four. I like to have all my skeletons lined up. Oh, come on, just a little closer. There we go. Now see, it's, it's just really all about management. Fighting with Grinborn. Oh, is that your name? And you can just go back inside. And there you go. And eventually their health regenerates while they are resting. But you can also buy, like, one of those. If you send them back to their room while a battle is happening, they will use it, and they will, depending on how, how long you give them to use it, they generally come back with full health, but sometimes I get too much of an eager beaver, so it just goes to complete waste. Uh, you want a portable radio. Uh, you want a shower. Very hygienic demons, those. Okay, now you see how much, you see how much money I'll be earning from, like, all of them. 43. 19 because you're a cheap shit. 26 and 22. Now come on, that's, that's pretty decent, you know, up from the 15 that we had originally. Hmm. Oh yes, I do still have one round left. Hmm. Okay, you guys. Wow, he hits hard. Uh, okay, run away, run away, run away. Oof. As you can see, these guys are very delicate, so you got to be really careful. The same goes for the water people. 
and the flower people. Hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna save. And now see, this one will give me more furniture. So I'm gonna take it. And I'm just gonna speed time up because they're not such bad, bad guys that they actually legitimately hurt a lot, you know? I don't think I'll be able to show you a monster quest before my time is up. But you see, this one's got a little bit of a storyline to go with it. So when you complete this one, there's another quest right after it. So it's all... It, I really like this game. I think it's very well done. I think you guys should check it out. There we go. Now, watch what I mean. See, look. Lots of defense, practically no attack. Is he throwing money at me? He's throwing money at me. I didn't- I never noticed that. Is that a dog? It looks like two dogs. You can go back, you're a little low. I, I, I just love the attention to detail and all the little things. <laughs> now... See, look, I can buy Mr. Stone statue and decorations. Let's have a look, shall we? Decorations. That's quite kitsch, I must say. Statues used to charm as a charm to pray for. <gasps> oh, I never knew that actually. Oh, you want an electric fan? You can have one. You want a single bed? You can have one. You want a wooden bookshelf? Uh, you can have one. Mm, you want playing cards? So that will be hobby playing cards. Uh, all right. Now let me save again, and now I will take this one so I can show you what I mean specifically with magic users. I just hope none of my guys die in the meanwhile. Okay. Uh, you're pretty much the only one who can battle. You can just wait out here until such time as they finish. As you can see, that one's going to lose just before me. Oh no, 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 go away. Okay, you can hide. Oh, there. And there we go. So, you see why I say high magic defense is very useful in this game. Um, another thing to take note of is that when it rains, if you have rain people living here, water people, then they are empowered. Um don't know if there's anything for wolves, but uh, anyway, this is a really good game, and I think that this is pretty much enough for me to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can pick this game up, I think I got it for like five bucks, but I think it was on sale. So I think it's natural, it's natural price. <laughs> it's usual price is about, price. Oh my goodness, I cannot speak. My it's usual price is about $10, I think. So you guys can go pick that up. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.